Good Tuesday morning. I'm Carly Boyette. Thank you so much for joining us. I am Natalie Taylor. And this morning, we thought we would serve up, literally, with our gloves. Uh -huh, we're some, ready. <laughs> some native-inspired food and spirits. Yeah, uh, Ulele celebrates the vibrant fusion of ingredients from Florida waters and land, once home to many Native Americans, including the young Princess Ulele. Chef Eric Lackey is their executive chef and joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I, it depends. You tell me I'm going. <laughs> to work. I'm literally cooking with you. So I'm you guys a little, are going uh, to do the work. I'm just going to kind of coach you along. <laughs> We're this so excited scary. to have you on the show this morning. This is one of the, a truly unique restaurants, I think, out of the entire Bay Area. Such a cool location now. Riverwalk, we hear, it's done. It's ready to go, right? It is. And we, you know, the water taxis come. Yay. We're right on the park. Beautiful park, beautiful landscape, and, you know, and nice, delicious nice, food. I'll say beautiful uh, food. Well, I'll say, and, and I'm, I'm very intrigued by what, uh, what the side <laughs> item is, but First, let's start with the main item. What are we going to be making today? So we're going to be doing a Florida pompano pan seared. We're going to serve it with a sun-dried tomato shallot cream, some crispy Ooh. fried carrot ribbons, and some steamed yeah. green beans and fresh garlic. Carrot ribbons. Carrot I ribbons. didn't know you could do such a thing. I, they look like sweet potatoes to me. That's what I thought they were. Yeah, real easy. Just peel some carrots, nice little seasoned flour, nice hot oil. Just kind of fry oh. them up, and it's a good little snack. Yeah, let's go ahead and get you so started get to make going. sure that we get it all in. But I want you to touch base on kind of what the restaurant is, the ingredients that you guys are using because it really is it's a I mean a great if someone's looking for a Florida restaurant this is it we are we are that um, we just kind of go with well first we're gonna start with a little oil here in the pan because we're gonna get this nice and hot to go with the fish and then we're gonna put a little bit here to go with our green beans but our theme is just basically thinking native inspired what was here in in Florida what what does every chef have great access to we have citrus we have produce we have seafood we have steak there's so much beef in Florida as well you know, one of the programs we have is we raise our own cattle. Do you so really? We do, and we have a brewery, so all of our grains from our brewery feed our cattle. So we, we're trying to, you know, keep everything here and be sustaining and doing That's the right That's what people thing, are so. looking for to these days. That's what I think is so cool. Don't you feel like your people are coming in and asking for that? Oh, I definitely do. I definitely do. Plus, it's a great product. Yeah. And we have a great thing. We're very, as a chef, I'm very fortunate to be here. So. Well, I'll say as a uh, talk show host, I'm very fortunate to be able to eat this. <laughs> so I would say, what's a, go ahead and dive right, in so and start. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of the pompano here, and I'm going to do this part so I don't want you to get burned. So then we're going to go ahead and get. That's very nice of you. Gonna, yeah, thank we're you. We're going to go ahead and get this into the seasoned flour and then right into this hot oil right here. So you can see you just want that oil nice. You don't want it too hot because you don't want it to burn. This fish cooks very quickly. It's very light and mild. So is this a go good from, beginner fish? If it, someone it, it, is just oh, without, sampling. without a doubt, it's very mild. It's very simple. Um, then as well, we're going to do our little bit of rice and we're going to do a little beans. So we're going to start off we're going to put a little bit of just a vegetable stock a lot of our ingredients we use are all natural grilled fresh a lot of our menu is mm -hmm. vegetarian friendly vegan friendly mm. uh, things like that so that's something we like to offer to all of our our guests as it just kind of naturally yeah. molded that way can you explain the name you lately by the way and some pe people probably struggle saying with it, saying it do you they, get a lot of uh, combined uh... so you lately was a native american uh, daughter of from the Tokabaga tribe, mm -hmm. Chief Hirahigwa, and the spring that sits on our property is named Eulalie, so the restaurant was named after okay. that. Okay. Isn't there a statue of her, too? There is. Yeah. A beautiful statue. It's got water surrounding it that pulls from the spring and returns back in. It's a beautiful location. So That's I'm going to have you take a little bit of garlic. You can throw just a pinch in this pan just right a pinch, here. pinch, not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. Just, All right. just a good pinch, just and then we'll good. get that in there, and then we'll just get that garlic kind of browning a little bit, and I'm going to have you just keep an eye on this fish. Uh-oh. Just give it a kind of a little move around every minute it won't take much longer than that now go ahead and take a nice little handful of green beans and throw in there I love green beans there is nothing better and there's so many different ways to cook them and saute them there is so we're just gonna let those go down in there for a minute and now we got our vegetable stock heating here so what we're gonna do is let that come up while this cooks. Okay, do I, am I gonna have to flip here? You are going to in a minute oh, for sure. He is really taking me outside of my comfort zone today. I am. I, <laughs> I am, am not the cook in my uh, in my marriage. If well, you, you, well you will be after this. Oh, at dear. least this dish. So you gotta let me know when I flip too. I will. The pressure's on. The pressure is on. So <laughs> we got our fresh green beans going here. We have our pompano. We have our stock. So it's pretty simple so far. I have what we have here is a nice blend of 
brown or brown organic uh, whole grain rice and then wild rice. So we cook the two separately and then we blend them ah. together because they cook at different at different times. Tricky. Wild rice is very hard to cook. It cooks for much longer. Then we blend the two with some fresh vegetables. And then now once you have this, this is something you can have in your fridge ready, like you could have your beans steamed so you have a lot quicker of a build. So we're going to put a little vegetable stock down in the pan, bring it up. Now what we're going to do is just going to add this rice right into this. Ah. Like that. So then this way, when it's time for dinner, you can have some of these things done. Just going to do this. We're going to let it heat up in that nice vegetable stock. So you can probably go ahead and turn. Just uh -oh. Gently give it a nice little... I don't know if I... <laughs> you can do there it. You, go. you got that. Job. Oh, perfect. Hey. Perfect. Well, and I like this tip of putting vegetable stock in the rice because sometimes rice has a, has a tendency to dry out. It definitely does. So when you do this as well as you're rehydrating the rice and if, and it's, you can have a nice batch of it ready in your yeah. fridge. So if you want to do it for a meal or two, you have it ready. So then our green beans here are looking real good. They're smelling real good. Yeah. Great, great. So now we're just probably two minutes away from everything being done. How are we cooking those carrots over there? Can, is this I'm something fascinated. you can attempt to do at home or do we leave it to the pro? No, you totally could. So you would either need maybe like a little tabletop fryer or a nice little pot with some oil. Okay. You would take your carrots and then you would use your peeler and you would long peel them. So you'd get those nice wide strips of carrot all the way down. So basically just making ribbons, mm -hmm. as we would say. And then you take some seasoned flour, kind of like what we had for the fish. It's just flour and some seasoning. You kind of fold them in. Oh. You get the carrots a little bit wet with some water so the flour will stick. Oh, okay. Then you roll them in there and then you just kind of flash fry them until they get golden brown. Pull them out and put them on a little bed of like a paper towel or something to draw any excess grease. Well, I love and that then, it's like a healthy option. I mean, I know you're still technically kind of frying <laughs> it, but it's better than fries and it gives you still some vegetables with, that you're... Without a doubt. And also along with that, you know, you could use cornstarch. So if you were gluten yeah, yeah, yeah. intolerant, you could use cornstarch to get them crispy. Cool. And it's definitely a good way to get some sort of vegetable in, in on the dish kids as well. would like those too. Yeah, they're not eating, they don't know they're definitely. eating carrots. So well, now, say, well, you take it away because we are same. running out of time. So I no hope problem. we've got time to see the finished product here. No problem. So we got a little bit of white wine. Uh -huh. oh, you're going to get that little white open. wine in like that. Woo! Love it. There we go. Now this fish is basically done, so we're going to do a quick plating. So now we're going to let that... This is an art, right? This is an art. So I'm going to go ahead and have you take a nice spoonful of rice okay. right in the center okay. of the plate there. All right. And we are like really out of time. We got to hurry. So here's a little rice. A little rice. <laughs> this is the quick version. I'm sure it's going to look much better at you lately. You have a fantastic vibe at your restaurant. Thank you. The meal's just as good. A little bit of the sauce around the bottom of the oh, plate. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to pull one of our pieces of fish. Which really was simple to make. Fun. I will right say that. There. And then a little bit of our fresh carrots. You have to have those. You can either go on top or we'll put those right on the top there like Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Chef, we're Thanks. diving in. Thank, Thank you so much Thanks for coming here. in this Thanks morning. Thanks so much. Uh,